with its body turned to one side. You might not notice anything unusual about the cardinal recently spotted in the backyard of two Pennsylvania bird enthusiasts. But viewed head-on, it's an entirely different story. The rare bird has the features of both a male and female cardinal, with its bright red coloration abruptly ending in a line that runs right down the middle of its body, where it becomes a much more subdued blondish brown. Pennsylvania residents Jeffrey and Shirley Caldwell spotted the incredible half-male half-female cardinal in a dawn redwood just outside of their home a few weeks ago, according to National Geographic. Its striking appearance is the result of double fertilization, in which a female egg cell that developed with two nuclei is fertilized by two sperm. The result is what's known as a bilateral genandromorph, where the bird appears to be a male and female stitched together. This remarkable bird is a genuine male-female chimera, Daniel Hooper, a postdoctoral fellow at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology told National Geographic. Cardinals are best known for their bright red coloring, but this feature is specific to males. Female cardinals, on the other hand, have a much duller appearance. The dramatic differences in the appearance of the two sexes makes genandromorph cardinals that much more stunning. These birds are typically infertile, though it's possible this particular cardinal may not be, since it is female on the left side, where their only functional ovary exists, Hooper told National Geographic. A study on another wild bilateral genandromorph cardinal published in 2014, has offered some insight on what the lives of these rare birds might be like. Researchers observed the male-female cardinal in northwestern Illinois between December 2008 and March 2010 to see how it interacted with others. And, it appears these unique cardinals may live somewhat lonely lives. In the study, said to encompass the most detailed observations of one of these birds yet, researchers found they mostly kept to themselves. We never observed the bird singing and never saw it paired with another cardinal, said Western Illinois University Biological Sciences professor Brian Peer when this study was published. It was one of the most unusual and striking birds that I've ever seen, 